second round. And really, there was nothing in it in the first. And I suppose now that the championship fights have been cut to 12 rounds, in recent years, that is, of course, they can afford to go at a slightly faster pace. The old 15 rounds at the heart. Oh! Well, certainly Petru won well, with that right hand from Kelly coming in there. But normally, Petru does absorb a good punch, but we'll find out here. Maybe when he blazed in the dressing gown explosive, he wasn't kidding. But both of them have been up and down in fights and come back to win. And they know how to come off the floor. Certainly got more control, Jim, hasn't he, Kelly, now? He used to be a bit too wild. Yeah, well, he's a nice tight defence. He's thrown good punches. That right hand should have given him a lot of confidence. He sensed that he badly hurt the true. But he's taken his time looking for a spot again. He hasn't gone erratic as maybe he would have done uh, last year or so. So what a kill. But Petrus coming back into it again. Hey, guys. Got all the guts in the world, Petru. We all thought it would be this way, and they're actually standing, the spectators here, particularly Kelly's spectators, actually standing in the front rows cheering on. What a battle this is. They're not going to baffle each other with science, I suspect, but I tell you what, it's an old-fashioned get-stuck-in one. Referee from the south, and Roland Dakin. Well, full marks to Costa Petru. He's pulled his way out of that a bit, Jim. Yeah, he has his back into it, straight back into the fight again. Uh, see, Kelly gets a little bit, the few extra inches in his punches, the way he steps in with him, and that's the reason he's catching Petru now and again with good punches. So now Petru's supporters there are chanting for him, mostly up in the gallery here. Pat Caldell, the super featherweight champion, is here to support him, one of his stable mates. Style-wise, Jim, they're made for each other, aren't they? We get the countdown of round two. Yeah, well, they both just want to stand there and let the punches go, so the fans are reaping the benefits. I tell you what, it's just as well you and I ducked then. He was coming straight at us, Kelly. What a battle towards the end of the round there. There's Costas Petru with the Lynch brothers in the corner there. Comes out of the Birmingham Gymnasium. Round four of the scheduled 12 rounds championship fight. Originally, Colin Jones gave up the British Championship to concentrate on European and then World. And now Lloyd Hannigan from London has done that. He's won the European. And uh, both of these are now saying we've got a good shot of being nominated to fight Hunnigan for the European Championship. So there's quite a bit at stake. And if it does keep up like this, certainly referee Roland Dakin will have a little trouble with the mathematics if it goes to 12 rounds because it's really been swaying a bit. Fighting with his face just a bit too much there, Kelly, and Petru knew it. He's so determined, Rocky Kelly. Sometimes he has to pay for that. He went looking for him, Jim, and then just stood the counter punches, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, just a bit caught a bit square on there. But Petru setting himself nicely and he's able to let the uh, punches go with either hand and he's throwing them in th fours and fives. This is as good as I've seen Petru, but it's uh, still a real hard close fight. Yes, it looks as though Petru has really pumped himself up for the championship fight, which is not unusual. We've often seen fighters in non-title fights just a bit lacking, and then suddenly they spark.
definitely a survival of the fittest job at the moment, Jim. Yep, I, th I think the, the longer the fight goes, it looks at this point as though Petru's lasting a little bit better. He's working all the time. Kelly's uh, started looking for the one shot. So with a minute to go in round four. Actually, Petru lost the decision early in his career to the ex-champion, or the now European champion, Lloyd Hannigan. But he's come on a lot since then. And that's without detracting from Hannigan's victory at the time, but certainly for Drew, and in fact, Hannigan has come on a lot too, of course, winning the European. What a good slog. What a good slog. As I said, they're not going to baffle each other with science, these two, but they're going to give value for money. Keeps walking onto them, Kelly, there, a bit recklessly, really. Yeah, this is another uh, fair round for Petru, I would think. He's landed a lot more punches. Well, he wouldn't mind celebrating his uh, 26th birthday next week as the new British World Weight Champion, would he? Eighth round. Not an easy fight to read, Jim, is it? Petru does a lot of eye-catching stuff. Kelly does some strong-looking punches. Yeah. But I suppose on punch volume, you'd probably say Petru was ahead. I have Petru two rounds in front at the moment. Uh, he's never been any more than two rounds. I had him two rounds and then Kelly trimmed it back a bit. But I have him two rounds in front at the moment. But all the, the rounds are closely contested, and I'm, I'm not saying the referee will be seeing it the same way I do. Well, we said at the start that uh, Petru enjoys these wars of attrition. The old tank rolls on, and he's still going strong. He overcame the rush start by Rocky. See, Kelly's getting caught with his head up in the air a bit more often now. That's a sign of tiredness. He you know, he doesn't have his neck and shoulders as tense as they should be. His head's been knocked up in the air once or twice there. Well, you won't see fights with more honest endeavour than this in a championship fight, Jim. No, Neither of them you would honestly call top craftsmen, but they give value, don't they? They get stuck in. Yeah, it's been, it's been a cracking fight all the way through. Minute to go in the eighth. It looks as though both sets of supporters have quite not quietened down, but they, they, when they see Rocky Kelly's right eye has just been cut there as they've been bundling in, that's a blow to him. That's a pity, really. I hope that doesn't uh, worsen and stop a, you know, a real cracker in a fight like this. And not that Petru needs spurring on by any chance, but uh, I suppose he really feels he's got the other man a little bit on the hook when he draws blood like that. coach there Holland working as I said on that cut around Kelly's right eye and a little nick on the left eye Jim into the ninth round and 
And as Jim Watt and I have been saying, it hasn't been an easier fight to judge. It's been a really cracking fight. Looks as though the, the Greek tank from Birmingham, Costas Petru, could just be edged in front now. And Kelly with cuts around the eyes there, a little bit under fire, but he's always strong until the last. I've seen him several times pull a fight well out of the fire when you thought he was lost. They're certainly having trouble now just trying to stalk the flow of that cut because it's reopened again. He's always been confident, Costas Petru, but you can almost see it now, Jim. Absolutely surging out, isn't it? Yeah, well, he must be happy. He must uh, himself feel he's ahead in points, and he sees he's drawing blood from uh, both of Kelly's eyes, and he must be feeling good within himself. Uh, he knows uh, how well he's lasted in the pace, and I think there's been more sign of tiredness in Kelly's work than there has been in Petru's. So I think he's every reason to be quite happy with himself at the moment. But one of Kelly's right hands could change that. Oh, yes, well, one whack in this game can cancel out the arrears. But he's well on top again in this round, Costas Petru. Oh, three on the turn, left hooks, and he looked as though he was going, but put, managed to pull himself together. But I'm wondering if he can hold out now in this round. about a minute left and Petru senses it he's willing to spit his gum shield out he's got it hanging out of his mouth but he's battling away there Costas Petru and Dakin's gonna dive in in the ninth round and the Greek tank from Birmingham really switched it on when it mattered full steam ahead in the ninth and he simply wore Kelly down had him cut up and it was quite a good finish there he, he, made up his mind he wasn't going to let the guy off the hook.